Hey, what's up guys? As promised, we are going to be making more videos for you to watch. Some being computer tips and tricks that you can do. Others being RuneScape guides and whatnot. But today I'm going to show you a few ways you can speed up your system performance. First way, you can run a virus scan and get rid of some viruses. Um, <clears throat> the best free... Uh, virus scanning program would be Microsoft Security Essentials. You can get this for free if you have a validated version of Windows, doesn't matter what, um, at Microsoft.com. And you can choose the kind of scan you want to do, full, custom, quick, or whatnot. But you want to make sure you run this at least once a week or so to make sure you don't get viruses that'll slow down your computer and steal your information. And yeah, uh, I don't want that. Um, you can also run the, if I can spell disk right, disk cleaner and defragmenter. What the disk cleaner does, it searches through, um, through your C drive looking for unneeded files that you can delete, making your system run faster. And I'm going to show you what it does right here as it loads. Alright, so see, I've got 30.6 megabytes just sitting in unused files and whatnot. You hit OK, you can delete them, and it'll, depending on the size, it could speed up your system a tremendous amount. And wait for that. Another program you can do is Disk Defragmenter, and what this does, it consolidates fragmented files and it moves around files on your C drive to make it run faster. I'm not gonna run this for you because it'll just take too long. Um, other things you can do, you can add RAM, uh, which is random access memory, to your computer, which will obviously it gives the computer more memory to work with, so you won't be as slow. But I'm not sure as the current price of, like, say, I don't know, a gigabyte of RAM. But um, that's up to your your discretion, your your cost benefits. But a cheaper cheaper way to do this is you can add virtual RAM, and what that is, it takes up space on your C drive to act as RAM when your built-in RAM is used up. But what you do, you go to computer, right click on right click on computer, go to properties. You go to advanced right here and click on performance. Go to advanced again and you can change it right here. And you put the size and the amount of megabytes that you want. I have mine between 10 gigabytes and 25 gigabytes. But you can put it to whatever. Um, also up to your discretion. Um, you can also change visual effects. It's in the same area right here. You can adjust for best performance, which which turns all of these off. What it does, it just makes it look not not the best. Like like all this, I'll I'll do it for you. It makes it look pretty uh, pretty bad, kind of. But I mean, it speeds up your system, and yeah, it makes it better. But I'm gonna go back to the way I had it. And one last thing you can do is you can update your drivers. It's in this same area. You go to Device Manager. And the main things you want to be looking at is your computer chipset. You go to Properties, Driver, and you can Update. But I've already updated all mine. You also want to look at Display Adapters and Processors. These are the main things that you want to keep updated on your computer to get the best system performance that you can. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, all that. Thanks.